The date, the 8th of November, 1923. On this day, Adolf Hitler attempted to overthrow the German government. Adolf Hitler, the leader of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, the NSDAP, or Nazi Party, had quickly risen through the German Workers' Party, the Nazi Party's predecessor, after initially infiltrating it for German army intelligence. Many, including Hitler, had been appalled by Germany's surrender at the end of the First World War and deeply resented the conditions imposed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, which demanded costly reparations and territorial concessions. He agreed with much of the sentiment of the German Workers' Party, and after assuming leadership of it, Hitler became known as a gifted and passionate orator who would speak to thousands about fighting Marxism and overturning the Treaty of Versailles and curtailing the rights of Jews. However, many of the party's leadership considered him too overbearing and attempted to oust Hitler in June 1921 by merging with the German Socialist Party. Hitler was, however, formally elected party chairman on the 28th of July 1921 with 533 votes to one, replacing the party's founder, Anton Drexler. Inspired by Italian fascist Benito Mussolini's successful march on Rome at the end of October 1922, and put under pressure by his scheduled mass meetings to begin at the end of September, being banned, Hitler sought to march on Munich, the capital of the Bavarian state. The state had been put under the near autonomous and total control of Gustav von Kahr, on the 26th of September, 1923, following a period of growing turbulence that saw widespread rioting, political violence, and drops in the standard of living. On the evening of the 8th of November, during the height of crippling inflation and further national turmoil, Hitler and other prominent NSDAP figures, along with 600 of the party supporters, formed into a paramilitary group called the SA, or Stormtroopers, marched on the Bürgerbraukeller an enormous beer hall where Carr was making a speech in front of 3,000 people. Carr was forced from the auditorium at gunpoint and Hitler gave a short speech in which he won the support of the crowd and forced Carr and the other two members of Bavaria's Triumvirate, police head colonel Hans Ritter von Seisser and the Reichswehr general Otto von Lossau to offer their support. Lossau, Seisser and Carr were then allowed to go free enabling them to warn others of Hitler's attempted putsch and organize an opposition. The only member of the Bavarian cabinet, not at the Bürgerbraukeller, Franz Matt, learned of the putsch when having dinner with the man who would later become Pope Pius XII. Matt immediately began to round up the support of the army and police. On the 9th of November, losing momentum, Hitler began to march with around 2,000 men on the Bavarian Defense Ministry, but was stopped by around 130 police officers. The two groups briefly exchanged gunfire, and 16 marchers were killed, as were four police officers, effectively ending the putsch. Hitler was jailed for five years for treason, but served only nine months, in which time he wrote Mein Kampf. Less than 10 years later, on the 30th of January, 1933, he would, at least somewhat legitimately, become Chancellor of Germany, before dissolving German democracy and going on to initiate the Second World War and the Holocaust. Carr was killed during the Night of the Long Knives on the 30th of June, 1934, after being abducted and taken to Dachau concentration camp. Everything becomes history. Until next time, goodbye.